So now I'll show you the problem with Debian Live that I'm going to fix. So to start with, I'm going to shut down the machine or the virtual machine. And I'll boot it up again. So full power off. So here we are back in the main menu for Debian Live. No real changes. So we'll boot the Debian Live ISO in VirtualBox once again. And it's booting up normally. And still it's an emulation, so it's a little laggy, just a teeny bit. Now, we'll go back to our LibreOffice file here. So we go to the file manager I showed you earlier. And it calls up all the folders as before. So we'll go into the Documents folder. And our LibreOffice file is missing. So where is it? Well, if we check the trash, not on the trash. Check the videos folder, and it's not in there. It basically makes sense it's not in these folders. If we do a local search here, LibreOffice, test, on the search. Why did that not even come up with? Okay. Try that again. That's definitely not what I was talking about. LibreOffice test. No results found. Try a different search. Am I even doing this right? I guess not. No, I guess yes. I think. Try it one more time. We'll try this. LibreOffice. So, oh, yeah, okay, this is working a little bit better. LibreOffice test. Where is it? Nowhere, from the look of it. I already know in advance that this is going to happen. So, what did happen? Basically, the issue with Debian Live is that it can save documents or appear to save documents when you're running it. And then when you try to reload, you find that they've all been deleted when you last shut down the live machine. And many people, I think, are unaware of this. Everybody understands more or less that Tails, which is the super secure version of Debian that some people use, deletes all your files when you're done because the idea is you want absolute privacy in Tails. But not everybody knows that regular Debian does that when you're using the live version. And again, with Tails, if you really need to save something in Tails, you set up your live USB thumb drive. It basically has to be that. It can't be a CD. With a persistent partition that will not be deleted on shutdown. And if you're going to do it with conventional Debian, the live version of conventional Debian, you actually do the same thing. And you'd figure, well, that's pretty straightforward. It's been done for years. But I've found that version 9.8 of Debian is very hard to find tutorials about for that particular thing. And I don't know why. It's not something that you can find easily on the Debian website, as far as I can tell. The different fan groups online they don't seem to have current tutorials. If you search hard, you can find tutorials for how to build persistent folders and persistent partitions on older Debian Live USB sticks. But, or for that matter, I guess you could use an external hard drive too. Although then the question is, why use the live version? But I was determined to figure this out. It took me three days of research. And so I will show you what I found. 
my tutorial will very quickly become obsolete because Debian is constantly changing and it's likely version 10 will make this tutorial obsolete. I think this tutorial would also fail to work for version 8 and earlier because I've tried those tutorials for 9 and they don't work, so probably the other way won't work either. But I'll do that in the next part.